Good morning boys and girls, I hope you had a lovely restful weekend. Today we're going to be moving on now from fractions and we're going to be focusing on decimals. This lesson specifically we're going to be having a look at decimals to three decimal places. But before we do that let's have a look at our starter activities. Again you've got three questions so I'd like you to pause the video in a minute, complete the questions, then press play and we'll go through the answers. Off you go, pause now. Perfect. Let's see our answers. So, our first question, we've got 1,386 and we're dividing it by 9. As you can see, you should have got the answer of 154. Let's work out how we got that answer. So, I'm going to use my bus stop method like you should have done as well to work it out. And it's 1,386 and we're dividing it by 9. 9 into 1 can't go. We can't divide 1 by 9. So we move our 1 over to make 13. 9 into 13 goes once, as 9 times 1 is 9. But we do have a remainder. We've got a remainder of 4. 9 into 48 goes 5 times, as 5 times 9 is 45. Again, we do have a remainder. Our remainder is 3. 9 into 36 goes 4 times, so my answer is 154. Perfect. Right, our next question. We have got 203.42 and we are subtracting this time. We're subtracting 56.11. So... In order to make sure my columns are aligned, I'm going to start off with my hundreds column, sorry, and I'm going to put my one in my hundreds column. Then I'm going to come to my tens column, put my one in my tens column, put a decimal point in there because remember that never moves. Come to my ones column, put my six in there to make sure it's aligned nicely. And then finally come to my tens column and I'm going to put my five in there. Let's subtract. 2 take away 1 is 1. 4 take away 1 is 3. Put my decimal point in there because it never moves. In the question, that's where my decimal point was. 3 take away 6, I can't do that. So I'm going to have to exchange and regroup. I can't go to my 0 because that's got no value currently. So I'm going to have to come over to my 100th column. I'm going to have to take some from my 2. So I'm going to exchange from my 2. Regroup, that becomes a 1. And my zero becomes a ten. I can now take, uh, I can now borrow some uh, some numbers off that. So again, I'm going to exchange and regroup. Cross that out. That becomes a nine. Regroup. Thirteen. Thirteen take away six is seven. Nine take away five is four. And one takeaway zero is one. So I should have got the answer of 147.31. Perfect. Right. My last question. We've got a bus timetable here. And we need to figure out the difference in time from one destination to another. So the bus it's asking me to look at is the 1048 bus. And that is from Riverdale. And it's asking us to calculate how long it takes to get from Riverdale to Mott Haven. How I would do that, you could have done it differently, but how I would do that is I would look at the different times. I would then write down 10.48. And then I'd have an hour on. Let's see where we get when we get an hour, 60 minutes. That brings me to 11.48. I've gone too far. I need to get 11.34, 34 minutes past 11. So, how I'm going to do that, I'm going to work out the difference between 34 minutes past and 48 minutes past. The difference is 14 minutes. So, taking into account an hour is 60 minutes, I'm going to take 14 away from 60. which gives me 46 minutes. And that's my answer. Perfect. Right, 
on to the next slide for our learning for today. Okay, what I'd like you to do today, you're going to follow the link that is located on your screen. You can also find this more accessible um, on the links page on Class Dojo. It's under additional maths links. You're going to watch the video which explains how to work out questions based on three decimal places. Once you've done that, can you complete the four pages on three decimal places which are in your white rose booklet? You can find the page number using the contents page at the front of your booklet. Remember the title is three decimal places. Once you've done that, can you take a picture of your learning? Oh, sorry, before that, can you mark it? Then take a picture of your learning. Like you did last week, you're going to submit it to Miss Crane as myself, Mr Pugh and Miss Jakes are using Miss Crane's account. Yeah, so your teacher will respond to you via Miss Crane's account. We're really looking forward to seeing you learning, boys and girls. Off you go.